so many bunnies. That's our new litter of pedigreed mini rex. There's six of them. And there's two little brown ones in there from um, the Netherland Dwarf litter. Um, she had five, and unfortunately, three were still born. I'm really not sure what happened, but these two the little guys under here, which they don't mind being under them, um, they are doing really well. And actually, one of them is um, has been sold, and one of the black uh, mini racks has been sold also. There's a little guy. That one's Mini Rex and Dutch mixed. Um, that's my Mini Rex mom over there. And let's see. That's my Dutch that has almost or all of the litters except for the last or the second to last one, which is 100% Mini Rex. And there's Ruth, my Netherland dwarf. She looks like a little old lady, but I still think she's so cute. Oh, and there's somebody up there on top of her cage, which that's got to hurt his or her feet. Let's see. There's Bentley. Bentley's from the first litter. He's about 10 weeks old. Super cute. Has the biggest ears ever. And that's baby Ruth because it it's, looks just like Ruth, only black and white instead of the chocolate color and white. And right there is Sable. That's the Mini Rex um, father, and he is so soft. Mini Rex fur is about the softest you can get as far as rabbit fur. Um, that little guy is from the first litter, and uh, it's Mini Rex and Dutch mixed. And they are so funny. They are just so sweet. They like to climb the cat tree. And they all have huge ears. And I mean huge. They, they look funny. But that's what I like about them is they're, that they have different kind of looks to them. Um, that one, I have several just, just black ones. And I couldn't tell you which litter they come from because a lot of them are the same size. Oh, oh, we got a little mini Rex out. Came out of his little box. They, they like to lay on each other, but since they just opened their eyes the other day, now they're kind of wanting to wander around and see what's going on. But it's their feeding time, so I brought them in. I don't leave them with their moms because their moms tend to step on them and hurt them, so I take them out, and then whenever I need to feed them, I bring them in. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. We don't need one of the big ones jumping on them. But there's a little one. That's the little teeny mini Rex, only uh, 10 days old. No, I'm sorry. Um, 15 days old because their eyes open on the 10th day. And yeah, they're, this one's 15 days old along with these. And then the two little brown ones are always getting squashed that you would think it hurts them, but it doesn't. These guys were born Wednesday, and like I said, one of them is taken and one black mini Rex is taken. So we've got an assortment, and there's Frankie. He's kind of a little swat at him, so I'm going to get him out of here in just a minute, but just kind of showing. There's the hay feeder that my friend Brian made for me. He has been wonderful in helping find... Um, loving forever homes for these bunnies and I thank him very 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 much um, I do take donations because we have so many and we have to have so many supplies we are down to our last bag of bedding there's a bunch of hay um, we have a, a huge bin of food um, but we're going to run out. I mean, it just happens so quickly. And I need to get this one down off of here. Come here, baby. Can't see where. Hi. 
You need to get off of there. We'll put you on the cat tree. There's Bentley. Here's Bentley and his big ears. Look at his ears. <laughs>